Hey, we're the Thompsons, a family of four seeking more out of our everyday. Living life in our Airstream and traveling the U.S. and beyond. Subscribe to our channel as we take you along on our adventures every week. We got blown out of the water onto the beach and unfortunately the wind has just gotten insane here. So we are actually packing up and we are going to head from here down into Laredo to try to get out of this wind a little bit. First stop we're going to take it, we're going to head up to Mission San Francisco. It's about an hour drive from Laredo. But we hear it's through the mountains and it's really, really cool not to take a trailer with you because I guess it is uh, pretty tight up through there. So follow along and we will find out. This mission is about an hour outside of Roberto, and it was built after the original mission in Loretto, which we saw in town. The reason why they built this one was because the one in Loretto, they ran out of fresh water. So they headed to the mountains to build this second mission near some water. Vlogging hack. Just follow the vloggers and record what they say. Just, it's just easier sometimes. Especially if you're camera shy like me. Yeah. So. Behind the scenes. Deal with this. Uh, this is your piece of wood. It's gnarly wood. It's the oldest olive tree in North America. Over 300 years old, you said? Mm -hmm. Obviously, at the spring, that's all open this valve, and you can tell floods the whole whole orchard, and you know, is what waters everything down here. So it's uh, again one of the main reasons that they moved up here was water. So it's uh, pretty cool that it's still using the exact same stuff that they did back when you know they built this.
got caramel and guava. So guava tastes like beef jerky. It looks like a so uh. We're gonna. Florana. Apparently, this is Florana a. Florana is. Florana is. Matt food. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. I never would have understood the beef jerky comment, but it tastes like how beef jerky smells. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like beef jerky taste. My face is confused. I wouldn't recommend that. Everything that could catch you has spikes. Say, yeah, would not be. So we would definitely recommend making the drive out to the mission. Yeah, Ma Mission San Francisco. The, Javier. Yeah, the, the drive is through the mountains. Pretty incredible. Definitely don't bring an RV up here. I'm super sad to be leaving Loretto. It is probably Laredo, Loretto, tomato, tomato. Seriously, such a charming, beautiful town that still is not, it's not overdeveloped, it's not commercialized, it's just, it, it has that really slow, small town vibe that we enjoyed. We loved walking into town. We stayed at Romanita's RV Park, which is such a teeny, unassuming, like they don't have any frills, but they're right in town. So we were able to always walk into town and enjoy it. Every day we would walk in, get the kids ice cream, or just walk in the shops, or just hang out in the square, and it was such a good experience. I would highly recommend staying there. The going rate right now for a boat is roughly $25 per person. Try to stick to that for a rule, rule of thumb. Uh, we were swindled, and... Um, taken advantage of so just be cautious like let our mistake not be your mistake the beach we went to on Isla Coronados was just absolutely spectacular white sand beautiful tropical waters we saw sea lions and like I said we even saw whales so This morning we're headed to one of the most. Your face. What are you doing today? <laughs> this morning. My face is not that bad. I can't see it. You were like this. What are you doing today? <laughs> um, so this morning we're headed to what's supposed to be the most beautiful beach in all of Mexico, and uh, you've got to get in line. They only allot two different times a day um, between 8 and 12 and then again um, 1 to 5 p.m. and that's it they only let a certain amount of people in per day whether you hike in or you drive in so we have had the absolute worst luck here in La Paz the whale sharks left the day we got here we were supposed to do a sailboat tour tomorrow and the boat is broken and it's really hard to get these tours last minute. So basically we're trying to make lemonada. What did you say? Lemonada out of extortion. 
anyway. Follow along if you dare to see if we have any luck at Belander Bay today. This look like horrible seating. I'm not sad. This doesn't make me sad at all. What are you thinking about this place, dude? Is this cool? Yeah, I love it. It's about the closest I think we've ever uh, sat at a table on the beach. So we just got lunch at Telecote, and now Lindsay is literally buying, oh my, she bought a lot of coconuts because her and Marissa wanted make sure that they had fresh coconuts for when we're sitting in uh, the bay. We'll see how much these things cost. Lindsay's up here telling people that they're not allowed to go that way, they gotta get in the back of the line. Gotta love it. So we finally got lucky. Uh, they let in three more cars after the last of us. So uh, we we just got lucky in getting in here. And now I understand why it's considered the nicest beach of Mexico. Bay. And now oh, it's super windy, so I'm trying not to fall. But this place is just beautiful. Sorry about the wind if uh I mean it's it's also very windy here, so we can hope. We can hope. What do you think about this place, Audrey? I love it. What do you think, bud? Yeah, as you can tell, the water is uh, very murky. Hardly see into it. Actually, not bad. Like, yeah, right, right here is roughly a foot and a half deep. That is so freaking out. <laughs> I think we lost Lindsay. Who? Lindsay. Who's Lindsay? You mean mommy? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> They legitimately kick you out if you're with a police officer. Turns the lights and sirens on and all. So it was an awesome day, guys. We thoroughly enjoyed the beach. We are all kind of sunburned and we're ready for some food. So we're gonna stop in La Paz, get a quick bite to eat, enjoy the sunset. So next time guys, we'll see you out there. You mean like San Francisco? Yeah, Kenley's been in there. Sure, walk.